There is history being made in Iran today. There is a negotiation about the sanctions, about the nuclear deal, and it looks like it's going to go through. Why? Because Iran and Iranian government is very motivated. They have run out of money. They need money. They need these sanctions to be removed, and they need that money that uh, U.S. will give them, $150 billion uh, in the first year, and $5 billion dollars right away from Korea will come to Iranian government. So the Iranian government wants that deal to be made. On the other side, the Biden administration needs that deal also. They want Iranian oil. With what happened in Europe, with Ukraine and Russia, uh, the, uh, the whole world needs Iran, Iran's oil. So they're motivated to do that. And of course, uh, President Biden wants to show that I did the right thing with the nuclear bomb and, and the crisis in the world. So both are motiv motivated, both sides, and it looks like it's going to go through. Now the question is, if this goes through, would that help the Iranian people? Absolutely not. The Iranian government has no heart to help the people of Iran. So you ask, what would happen with this money? We know what would happen with Obama when they got $150 billion. We saw what had happened. They used that money not to help people. They used that money to oppress people. A large part of that money was stolen. So what I see is that if this money is given, first, a good portion of it will be uh, stolen by those in power in Iran. They would, it would go to around the world, be hidden in banks. Number two, it's going to be used to uh, support and finance terrorism around the world, to advance its policy in the Middle East, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Yemen. They're going to continue to do that. And they're going to use this money, unfortunately, to oppress the people who are against them. And the number one danger for the Iranian government is the growth of Christianity. So if this deal goes through, I can see that persecution in Iran, persecution of Christians will increase. They will use that money to uh, follow through with all those threats that they have made. They will have the technology from China to control the people. So what should we do? We should pray. In the midst of all these, the Lord is doing great work. The many hearts are open. We have never seen the last 20 years of being on the air. I've never seen such open sky, open heaven in Iran. And people of Iran are coming to Christ like never before. So let's continue. And let's be alert as Christians to take advantage of this historical time and align ourselves with the Lord and make history in Iran. Would you pray for us? And would you join us to make history in Iran? Why? Because Iran will be the first Islamic nation that will turn to Christ.